Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Vue.js tutorial for beginners in Hindi and this is our part 18. In this video session guys, we will discuss about the concept of references in Vue.js that is dollar refs. And also guys, we have uploaded all above code that we did so far in this video session series to this GitHub repository. You can download to all codes from there and also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear vision about part number 18 so just back to editor so basically guys ye hai wo do files jin pe hum kaam karne wale hain and this is the simple structure of our html file and this is the simple view instance that we have created okay so hum is guys is video session mein hum references padhne wale hain vue.js application mein okay so first of all let's make some input type text box let's text box and just get rid of that and let's say placeholder something called name and here we are going to attach our attribute called ref okay and this is something called txt name okay so let's me change to name okay or we have text box define karne wala. so just be our tag and let's say email okay so it should be input type text or input type email and may say remove karunga and let's say placeholder something called email okay and another attribute attached with this input type element that is ref again and let's say that txt email Okay, this is what we are going to see guys. So, just we are going to define the simple HTML structure as you can see of two elements called name and email. And also, let me make a button for the click event. So, just be a tag and let's say button. Okay, and in that button, let's say submit. Okay, I will remove it. So, just get rid of that. Or, ya to hum we on use karke hum apne click event ko attach kar sakte hain. Ya shorthand operator called at click event and let's say that btn submit okay so I say copy karunga copy karne ke baad main jaunga apne view instance ke andar inside this methods object just we need to define btn submit it's a function let's say that console.log and starting message called i am clicked okay so I say save karunga save karne ke baad main jaunga browser page just refresh that page and this is the name email and submit button okay so let's make another br tag right here let's say br tag okay and also a br tag here so if we save this file this is the structure that we have made okay so let's fill some value called sanjay and dummy email called sanjay gmail.com just may say click karunga click on that and this is i am clicked now firing so what we are going to do in this video session guys we are references ke baare mein wale hain. that means that in ye jo text box we defined kiya hua in ke references ke zariye hum in values ko read karenge okay so just main jaunga editor pe and go to console main ise comment karunga and let's say that console.log this dot dollar wraps okay main ise save karunga save karne ke baad main jaunga browser pe and just refresh that page and let's say that name and email something dummy email and just I'm going to clear first console click on submit button if I click that as you can see that txt name and the txt email ye kaun se attributes or object ke properties humne get kiye agar mai jaun editor pe just go to html file this is our reference attribute okay ref jahan par hume txt name as well as txt email define kiya hua hai and these are appearing as a property of that object okay and ye dono guys hamare input type ke hai as dekh sakte hain jo ki basically ye jo reference humne banaya hai wo basically attach hai hamare input type text box ke sath okay so mai agar ise open karu so this just mai open karu and this is txt email okay so if i scroll multiple properties as you can see attached with the single reference object property okay so yahan par hamare paas kafi sare objects hain sath hi sath hamare paas kafi sare events bhi hain aap dekh sakte hain on pause on mouse down on mouse enter and so on okay so if i able to access the value of this text box agar is text box ke value hume get karna ho so just we need to go inside v section and that is something called value okay so basically we are saying something called this okay so if i want to access this value we need to go first of all we need to go inside this txt email txt email dot input dot value okay so just back to our editor so if 
I want to get the value of email. हम value of email को read करना चाहते हैं okay? So for that, let's say console.log. This dot refs dot txt email dot value. Okay? And also if I want to access the name of the entered value and something called this is the name section. Okay? Plus with concatenation and this is email something okay just to concatenate so if i save this file and this is txt name okay jo kyunki humne jo reference use kiya hua this is txt name so if i want to access the value so this dot refs will give you the whole bunch of reference properties okay so if i want to access the name property only agar hum name property ko fetch karna chahte hain so this dot refs dot txt name dot value so if i save this file again refresh this page so let's say that sanjay something called sanjay at gmail.com mai ise clear karunga just click on submit and as you can see name equal to sanjay and email equal to sanjay at gmail.com so basically we have retrieved all these two values from this object by the help of these two properties called reference properties okay so basically jo txt name hai guys it's a reference property jo ki hame is input type text box ne return kiya hai and why it is return because we have defined called ref txt name जैसे ही हमने आर ई एफ इक्वल टू टी एक्स टी नेम अटैच किया इट रिटर्न और प्रॉपर्टी एज यू कैन सी टी एक्स टी नेम एंड इफ आई ओपन टी एक्स टी नेम एज यू कैन सी मल्टीपल प्रॉपर्टीज एज वेल एज इवेंट्स अटैच विद दैट ओके हम किसी भी चीज को एक्सेस कर सकते हैं इसके उस रेफरेंस प्रॉपर्टी ऑब्जेक्ट के थ्रू ओके okay? साथ ही साथ अगर मैं इस इनपुट टाइप के बजाय अगर मैं किसी डीफ पे या किसी पैराग्राफ टाइप पे असाइन करूँ तो हम वो भी कर सकते हैं ओके सो लेट्स मेक अनदर बी आर टैग एंड विद इन दिस बी आर टैग let's say that define a paragraph tag okay and let's say that this is simple message okay aur isme agar hum reference attach karna chahte hain just we need to give ref and this is the name called suppose paragraph okay simple para so if i save this file go to browser and again if i refresh that so let's say that sanjay and sanjay@gmail.com clear console and when we click on this button actually this will return three reference properties called txt name txt email and para gra okay para only so just click on that and as you can see it return three properties of this object called txt name txt email and para so if i open property one by one just click on para so as you can see all these properties and events attached with that paragraph tag ओके okay? uh, और अगर हम उसके वैल्यू को फेच करना चाहें मीन्स इसके वैल्यू को हम अगर एक्सेस करना चाहें दैट व्हाट वी हैव रिटेन इनसाइड दिस पैराग्राफ टैग दिस इज बिकॉज बेसिकली अ पैराग्राफ टैग सो ऑल द टैग्स एक्चुअल रिटेन इनसाइड इनर एच टी एम एल एंड इफ आई गो टू आई सेक्शन स्विच इज कॉल अप एंड एज यू कैन सी इनर एच टी एम एल विल गिव यू द दिस इज सिंपल मैसेज दैट वी हैव रिटेन ओके बिकॉज दिस इज अ एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट अगर हम टी एक्स टी ई मेल पर जाएं बेसिकली इट्स अ इनपुट टाइप इट कंटेन्स द वैल्यू प्रॉपर्टी ओके वी सेक्शन एंड दिस इज द वैल्यू प्रॉपर्टी ओके सो बेसिकली गाइज दिस इज द सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द रिफरेंस इन व्यू जी एस एप्लीकेशन सो इफ वी वॉन्ट टू यूज द रिफरेंस इन आर व्यू जी एस एप्लीकेशन वी हैव टू कीप समथिंग इन आर माइंड वट वॉज दैट फर्स्ट विन टू डिफाइन द रिफरेंस एट्रीब्यूट टू ईच ऑफ द एलिमेंट एक्चुअली वी आर गोइंग टू अटैच विद दैट ओके जिसके साथ हमें रिफरेंस को अटैच करना हो वी आर गोइंग टू डिफाइन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द एट्रीब्यूट ओके एंड नेक्स्ट द प्रॉपर्टी नेम दिस प्रॉपर्टी नेम एक्चुअली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वी आर गेटिंग दैट प्रॉपर्टी नेम इन साइड दिस ऑब्जेक्ट ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट इफ वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस दिस वैल्यू इफ वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस दिस वैल्यू देन by the help of this dot refs we get all the values all the properties inside object okay and step by step we can fetch the value called this dollar refs dot txt name which is basically a property name dot value because it's a input type so if i make copy of that just paste it here aur agar hum paragraph tag ko fetch karna chahe let's say that paragraph so this dot refs dot para dot inner html ओके बेसिकली इनर एच टी एम एल सो इफ आई सेव दिस फाइल अगेन रिफ्रेस दैट पेज लेट्स दैट संजय संजय जी मेल डॉट कॉम 
if I click that and this is the message okay so this is the basic concept of guys references in Vue.js application so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then just drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day